Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table is just kind of a, a quick tip video really, in case you get to see a certain error message about your poor old gimbal on your Phantom 3, um, what might be the cause? There's one very obvious cause and there's a couple of not so obvious ones, so that's what we're going to look at. Uh, now before we go any further, it is of course The Kitchen Table and as subscribers will know, we always have a beverage to, uh, to, to, to hand when we're discussing drones and all things drone. Uh, today is no exception, but it's um, it's raining again, so I'm yet again not able to go out and do any flying. I want to look at a couple of things, and I can't. So I'm consoling myself with some home-roasted monsoon Malabar, which is still my go-to uh, coffee at the moment. So, um, cheers. Mm. Oh, fantastic. Oh, and um, just to let you know, if you've uh, ordered a mug uh, and you live in Australia... Uh, fantastic news, they appear to be getting uh, to you, uh, to Australians within about 10 days or less. So um, well done to the Aussie Postal Service. Um, so yes, the error that I want to talk about uh, comes up. It's, it's a gimbal motor overload error. Uh, and I've had a couple of people um, ask me about this. And there's, there's, like I said, there's one obvious reason that even the app will tell you that it says, have you removed the clear plastic uh, gimbal clamp that came with it, which if you're like me, you removed as, was removed for you by the inappropriate shipping um, and packing of the product and then you've put in the bin because it's so awkward to use, you don't use it. Um, you're unlikely to keep one of the, you know, not notice that you've got one of these on and that's why I quite like it. Um, most people uh, have removed this uh, and that's not the reason. Uh, the other thing is that some people neglected to move the foam, white foam packing piece, but again, that's a one-off hit. This error, um, uh, I've had people tell me, has uh, is arisen in the air or at the point of takeoff. So there's a couple more reasons why that would happen. Um, basically, the issue is that the gimbal is, is sensing that it's got some resistance to its free movement. And then it, it, to, to avoid uh, damaging the motors and stressing them out, it will, it will report this error uh, to allow you to clear uh, an obstruction. If it happens on the ground at the point of takeoff or just after you've switched on, just have a look at the surface you're putting it on. As you can see, there's not an enormous amount of clearance. Um, sometimes if you've got long grass, particularly if it's slightly thicker or stiffer, or there's a bit of a leaf or something like that, just the fact that it's touching the gimbal can be enough for it to sense the resistance and trigger that warning. Flatten the grass down, put it on a board like this, take it off from a flat flight case or move to a different area and you should find that that clears. The other time that it's happened that I've had one person tell me it's happened is in flight, they've been flying around and they've got this overload error. And when they've landed to troubleshoot it, what they found is that actually one of the white dampers has split. If you remember from a video a little while back, we were looking at pre-flight checks and I said it's always worth just checking these because they do take a little bit of weight and they do age and you might get a split uh, in the rubbery material there. And if you get sufficient of a split that it either breaks or kind of is hanging lower, if one side is hanging lower than the other, you can get to the point where the, the, the whole plate is on the tilt and it's causing the gimbal to lean forward and trigger the error. So it's always worth carrying a couple of spares with these with you. It could be as simple uh, as that. If you find that the error persists and it's not any of these things, then the last resort, of course, is to do a full uh, calibration. I'll put a link on the screen somewhere. We've done, a, we've done a, a video on how you can calibrate to get a level gimbal, but the same principle applies. Um, and then if all of that fails, it could be that you have a bit more of a fundamental problem and you'll need to contact DJI support. But in most cases, it's going to be just something that's, um, that's, that's stopping the free travel of the motors on the gimbal. And that's what's throwing up the error. So hopefully a quick, quick something to clear for you. There we go. I hope that was uh, that was useful for you. And uh, thank you as ever for your support. Thank you for subscribing and liking. And for those of you who are supporting the channel, there's a whole list of ways you can do that in the description below. Uh, until next time, I will see you again here on the kitchen table. Cheers.